Terry Bauer, reckoning that's the best ever Open Day result in the SPL um, for, for Inverness. What did you see? It's the best one for me ever as well, I think, as a manager. I don't think I've won too many uh, opening day fixtures. We have one here in the first division, of course, as you know, 2009, Lee Cox uh, winner at, at Dunfermline. But yeah, that was really nice today. It was, it was a lovely feeling because um, it was tight in the first half and we, we knew it would be because of the start of the season and the, the conditions were difficult out there with the wind as well swirling around. So um, Samirin put us under a lot of pressure in the first half with long diagonal balls under Thompson and, and Harkins. That made it made it hard for us. But you know, in the second half, we we score. We do score a lot of goals in the second half. We do find it more comfortable in the second half to to attack teams because there's more space. You know, the game opens up a lot more, becomes a bit stretched, and we're able to you know utilise that space and utilise the um, the full width of this pitch because it's a lovely pitch and it's nice and wide for us as well. I think Tommy's made a great job during the summer. Yeah. The point itself was always fantastic. Yeah, it's good, and he put some water on it, but I think it dried out pretty quick because of the there was quite a bit of heat out there, but the wind especially dried it. But no. It's all good because you look at the squad that we have and, and the ones that weren't playing were up and cheering and one, you know, they want to be part of it. Everybody's had a fantastic pre-season and it's really just a continuation of that, um, which we said before the game. There's nothing different. The only, well, the only thing different is that there's three points at stake today or a point or whatever. So they knew that there was a, uh, there was a tangible reward at the end of this game. But the way they played it, they just approached it like they did a you know, pre-season match. And you know, we've had play, every player, I think, was, was, was terrific without being unbelievable because I think there's still a lot more to come from this team we've only had the, the one game but we, we will get better and better I can see that and I can see that there's uh, you know a lot of uh, confidence in the players and the win today especially will certainly give them even more I think you know, we, we were talking about that uh, earlier on was that was it, uh, the debutants did incredibly well today especially James Vincent from from he really yeah. looked to have slotted into it's that good he got a standard ovation when he came off and uh, it's good Aaron Doran you know he, he's the same but no, I think you look at the the crowd don't know much about James, they don't know much about Dean Brill, but I thought Dean Brill was excellent as well in goal. But there's a lot more to come from these players. But I, I've always said, well, no, I always said this week, I said in particular, it's not about the newcomers, it's about the old boys out here. You know? And Gary Warrens and the David Ravens and uh, Ross Drape, even Ross Drape was an, an old veteran now, you know, but he was immense today. But the ones that were here, um, last season especially, they've just carried on from what they did last year. And I yeah. think that's, that shows great belief and great hunger from them as well. And they've told the younger ones what they have to do and the newcomers, and they're doing just you know just what the old ones uh, want them to do. I think from our point of view, uh, I mean, okay, James got man in the match, but I, I didn't think Adam Dorn was terribly far behind them. I didn't think no. Richie was terribly hard. I thought far Ross, behind Ross Draper was immense Phantom. as well. Ross Draper had some yeah. fantastic yeah. He's a big, big, he's a beast. Last year was his first year with us, and you know he's, he was you know one of them ones he's just feeling his way. But he's a presence in the field. He's a big lump of a boy, but he can move and he can get about. And he's just got telescopic legs as well. You know? I had the benefit of those sort of length of those legs as well. But he's certainly you know he's a, he's, he's certainly in the engine room with the difficult conditions with the ball bouncing around and, and the wind as well. He had to make some crucial tackles and blocks, and he's good when he comes away with the ball because he's he don't know what he's going to do. Sometimes he'll stand on it, sometimes he'll miss it, but generally, more often than not, he carries it with him and can produce a good pass as well. So you're seeing him really chuffed with us. Yeah, I'm delighted. So it, it's been a, you know, it, you don't know sometimes how players are going to react to the SPL. Our you know, players that have been here before and newcomers as well. But like I said, you know, we tried to make a continuation of what we've done um, this pre-season. We said, we didn't, I said, the season doesn't start today. It started when we first came back on the what, 27th of June. That's when it started. And they've just built, built it up and up and up and up and it got better and better. So who knows what we can do, but you know, we'll keep our feet on the ground because we know there's a lot more games to come, but it's the best start we've had, as you say, and it's, a, it's wonderful to have that. It's another first for us. We had a lot of firsts last year, so already we start with a first. Three points, three goals, clean sheet, lovely. Now we've got Dundee United away next week. Do you fancy another four each draw? No, I don't fancy giving them three goals with a start after eight minutes, certainly not. But um, no, I mean, we, we listen, you, you were there last year, you know, it was like when we were 3-0 down and the crowd was thinking we're going to win 4-3, we almost did win 4-3. So I think, well, it's, it's special. I mean, I just I hope that people that haven't bought season tickets or haven't bought tickets to games look at that and just say, look, you know, it could be another special season, if not better than last year. It's only one win, I know. But I've got a squad through there that are hungry, a squad through there that will that will die for each other and work hard for each other and push each other. So if you've got that, you've got a right good chance. I couldn't agree with you more. Terry, thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers.